Hey everyone, we're back. Today we're finally making the UNSC Saber from Halo in Minecraft. Believe it or not, I've done like three different Halo series over the course of the channel, obviously being the, the legacy scale series where everything was built kind of in just by eyeball in it, nothing was to, to scale with each other. Um, never made a Saber in that series. I did the, and still I'm doing the 2 to 1 Halo series, which again, that hasn't had a Saber either, but it will, as you can see. Very nice. Finally making a one-to-one -one saber. It's so hard to believe I've never done one at all. Um, like, I have made models, but never never done them as a tutorial. I think I've made, like, three or four models of it. Um, and most of them were bigger than one-to-one. Than -one. um, but I think this looks just <laughs> really great for the size. Like, it's, it's uh, obviously just shorter than the Halo 3 Elephant, a bit longer than the Halo Wars Data. You can see it kind of compared to, like, the, the Falcon here, although that model is a bit outdated, but... Um, yeah, it's still pretty large, um, definitely one of the larger UNSC things, um, but yeah, it's obviously very unique in the in the colour scheme, with it being uh, like a silvery uh, grey colour, contrasting to obviously all the green things, and yeah, there's just a lot of difficult shapes, um, like the engines are really difficult to pull off, but I think it's, it's gone really nicely here, um, a lot of trickery with some of the shapes had to be used, um, but I think, yeah, it came out great. Um, there are a few custom banners, um, and I'll basically show you how to do these at the start of the video, um, in the, once you start the layers. Um, but yeah, they, they're not too difficult. They're just for the cockpit detail here. Um, there's a few different ones. Uh, speaking of the cockpit, there isn't a, a cockpit in there. Maybe you could try and do one with a minecart, but it's going to be really tight just because of the the thickness of this front bit here, um, so I don't think it's really worth it. But yeah, lovely build, um, a nice addition to the UNSC lineup, um, and it's something I think a lot of people will have been looking forward to. So yeah, let's crack on with the build, on to layer number one. Alright, for layer number one, you'll need polished andesite, stone bricks, smooth stone slab, polished deep slate slab, uh, the polished andesite one, and the normal stone one as well. Dark oak sign, iron trap door, and then sponge. Um, and then for the banners, we've got the, let me come down here and see them. So this is for the left hand side cockpit window, this is the right hand side. Um, and then this one goes on both sides, so you need two of these. Um, and then two of these ones as well. If I show you what's in those, so the left hand side cockpit one is Grey Chief. Uh, a black banner with Grey Chief, Grey Base and Grey Per Bend inverted. Um, and then the right hand side cockpit one is Grey Chief, Grey Base, Grey Per bend sinister inverted. The one with the black stripe down the middle is just grey chief and grey base. Um, these are all black banners, by the way. This one is black banner with grey fess, light grey per fess inverted, and then grey fess as well. And you'll need, like I said, two of these um, <clears throat> for both sides. Well, two in total, one for each side of the, uh, side of the ship. So grab the. Um, Temporary block to start out with. Now the green line is the front of the build, red line is the back. Just bear that in mind so you don't build in the wrong direction. We're going to start with the uh, three temporary blocks here like that. So obviously this is width um, and this will be your center line um, down where this red and green line is. So anything that we do on this left side we'll also do on the right side as well. Um, so just bear that in mind. We're going to do one separated block here like that and again and then again, and then one more time, just like this. So, so you should have three separated ones, three separated ones, three in the middle like that. You're going to come out and skip one again like this. Top half smooth stain slab, and then on the green line going to the front, another top half smooth stain slab. Again here, just like that. And remember, there is a gap between that one and the sponge block here, so just uh, don't forget to do that taking the iron trap door now where you've got this set of three and then you've got the gaps in these gaps you're going to put an iron trap door on either side behind that on the red line polished deep slate slab top half stone slab top half polished on the side full block and then stone bricks as well all right taking the dark oak sign just on the inside now one two three four like that Put that away for now. 
Take the smooth stone slab, you're going to do two here. These are all top half, by the way. Two again. One iron trap door on the left, and then two next to it. So one, two, three, four. One there, and then two next to it. Get the temporary block again, um, and we're going to do just a gap of one here. Um, and then you kind of, uh, I don't know how to do this. Do one there, and then one above, so you're on the next layer up. Um, and then take the polished andesite slab. You're just going to do the top half one there. So that's just past it. It should be a gap of four in total. One, two, three, four. Now the reason that one's there is because there is a lever on the underside of the uh, block on the next layer. But I don't know what block it is yet, so you've got to replace that on the next layer up. Two of the uh, polished andesite slabs in total, and then three iron trap doors like that. So again, from this set of three, there should be uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. And that's going to be it for layer number one. Let's move on up to layer number two. Right, so for layer two, we need quite a lot of materials, if I'm honest, um, with these ones in the bottom here. Stone polished on the side, stone bricks, smooth stone, and then all these slabs again. Um, same as before. And then the iron trap door we've used before, we use it again. You need the um, chiseled stone bricks, cyan terracotta, grey wool, deep slate tiles, deep slate tile stairs, and slab. Uh, dark oak trap door and daylight detector as well. Um, you also need a few more materials, stone brick wall. I've not got them yet, but I'll just grab them as, as we need them. Uh, stone brick wall, you'll need the light grey carpet, you'll need the light grey stained glass pane, the iron bars, and uh, maybe something else, but I can't tell right now. Stone stairs. Um, so with the chiseled stone brick, just start there on the very front iron trap door um, on top of that put that away for now stone block one two stone bricks one stone block again and then this is the polished andesite just here now because we deleted that temper block i remember now to put a lever just there but you want it facing towards the slabs so just like that I'll put that back there we go um, while we've got a gap in our inventory i'm going to quickly do this because i think these are the only ones on this layer so iron bars next to the stone brick wall and next to the chiseled again remembering that's your center line down the middle um, put that away and then the light gray stained glass pane one two one two again put that away okay um, iron trap door on the front here one two of those two polished andesite slabs top half and then you need the deep slate tile slab two of those top half as well Get the dark oak trap door, that's just one here, top half, and again, like that. Polished uh, deep slate slab, top half, one, two, one, two. Come back to the middle here now, stone slab, one, two. Iron trap door behind it, stone slab again, iron trap door again. We'll need the polished deep slate stairs. We're just going to come and face this way. Basically, want to do one uh, ups, upside down there and another one there as well. Um, so it should flow down into this bottom bit here, which is uh, what we've got. And again, same thing just there. Um, one and two. Okay. All right, put that away for now. Uh, we'll grab the cyan, get this out of the way, there's only two of them on this layer. One is there above the trap door and another one there as well. Same thing with the grey wool. One there, one there. Put that back. Uh, we'll finish this gap here now. We need the polished deep slate wall. Next to the cyan, one, two, three, four. And then grab that dark oak trap door. Um, do them top half like that, and then just flip all of these down. So it should look like this. Another dark uh, uh, dark oak trap door here above the 
temporary block if you still got that um, on each side. We need the deep slate tile slab again. One and two. Deep slate tile full block. One, two. One, two. Need the deep slate tile stair. Just upside down there like that, there as well. And then the deep slate tile slab again next to it. Okay, we need the stone brick walls that I talked about earlier. So grab those and there's just one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. And then another dark oak trap door is just gonna go there and there as well. So it kind of diagonals from the slab here. So it should look like this so far. All right, we'll put that away. Grab the iron trap door back. We're gonna do one just here. So on the, the slab there as well. We'll do the daylight detectors, get these out of the way. There's just uh, one there. Turn that on. Smooth stone slab and then another daylight detector there. Turn that one on. So again, one daylight daylight and turn both of those on Put that way for now light gray carpet one and two to cover up the uh, the trap door there just like that and then we need the stone stairs um, as well because we're going to join up into where the engine will be um, and there's basically going to be one uh, there and then two, and then the third one actually kind of corners like that. So again, uh, one, two, and then a corner one. Just there. All right. Next up, put that away, grab the uh, deep slate tile stairs back again. We will also need the slab. I'm going to start with the stairs, just goes uh, facing that way. And then have them upside down facing outwards. Um, just gonna add one, two, three, and then two of the deep slate tile slabs. Um, get the smooth stain slab. There's uh, one, two, three here, like that. Do the same on this side as well. Um, one there, one, two, three upside down, and then two top half slabs. And then with the uh, smooth stain slabs again, do the one, two, and three like that. So join up with um, what we did down here, basically. Then get the dark oak trap door back. We're going to put this just uh, here and there as well. We want to do a temporary block uh, just there and up one. And then here on one because there's going to be another lever so it should look like that okay and that's going to be it for layer two so let's move on up to layer number three all right for layer number three to start off with it is three isn't it one two, yeah three <laughs> start off we go back to the previous layer because i forgot something of course i did um, where these stairs end, there's going to be a uh, a slab just there. Uh, sorry, not a slab, a, a trap door, dark oak. Just there, top half, and uh, there as well. So, yeah. Um, come to the main body as well, where this trap door is. We're just going to put a stone there for now, and then we'll come back to that. Um, that's just a point of reference for me. Right, so we'll do the engines, get these out of the way um, for this layer. We're going to start with uh, the dark oak trap door. We're going to put one on top of the one we just did, face it outwards and then flip it. So just like that, flip that. Okay. Then with the uh, deep slate tile wall. Oh, I forgot to mention new materials, by the way. Deep slate brick uh, full block. Grey stained glass paint. I know you can barely see it, but it is there. Um, oak, oak. Oh, how do you say that? 
but this orange frog light, pearlescent frog light, uh, observer, and then dark oak trap door. We already have um, everything else has just been sort of reorganized nice and neat here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try. I know in previous video I always throw the inventory around every single layer. I'm gonna try and keep it in an order a bit more um, going forwards, uh, just so it's a bit easier to follow. Um, take the dark oak trap doors again. I'm going to put one just there on top of this stone stair, flip it, and again, there and flip it. Take the pearlescent frog light. We just need one of these on each side, one's there, and one's here as well. And you can throw that away, I don't think we need it again for the rest of the build. Um, and then there's another one. You want to basically, uh, I guess, do a temporary block, and then put one there, delete the temporary, and then flip it. So there, there. Delete that bottom one, flip that one. Should look like this. You need the deep slate tile wall. There's one just here next to the temporary block. And again, should join up with the trap door. Um, so grab the deep slate bricks. Delete this temporary block. We're going to do one of the bricks and then quickly just grab that lever so we don't forget it. Just goes underneath facing towards the body. Second deep slate bricks. Um, and then I'm just going to put that over there for now. I know it's quite hard to see because I don't know if that's uh, the colour the inventory normally is, but I've got the dark mode on on the uh, resources, re resources, resource pack. So that's why my inventory is darker. Um, deep slate tiles, you need one, two, and that's the third one. And then again, we're going to take that lever and just put that underneath the third uh, tiles. So again, we'll do the same on this side. Two bricks, three tiles, and then lever just goes there. Lever there as well. Okay, you can put that away for now. Um, all right, come back to here. We need the deep slate tile stairs. I'll put an upside down one. Just uh, just there. So it should look like this. And again. Um we'll do we'll get these frog lights out of the way actually. So in fact can we? I don't know if we can because I don't know where to place them. I feel like it's there, but I'm not hundred percent sure. Ah, we'll have to come back to that. Uh we'll put the okra I, I I hope that's how you say it. I don't know if it is. Okra, okra, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, so yeah, we'll keep that up there for now. Um, could we take... Oh, we also need another material, which I don't think I've ever used, or at least not very often, which is the chiseled deep slate. And that's going to go just uh, here, basically, where this full block is. You kind of... I'm not sure if that's the right way. I need to be facing that way, I think. Or maybe it's based on... Hmm... I'm not sure. On my reference model, the little rectangles are facing or on this side of the square. So I'm not sure why it does that. Uh, I wonder if... <laughs> no, I guess not. Um, there we go, I've made a right mess of that now. Is that fixed? I think so. Um, it, I guess it doesn't matter. Just have the chiseled deep slate in there. Um, same again on this side, just there like that, and then you can throw that away because I don't believe we need it again. Um, we need another deep slate bricks just there, and a second one, and then two more deep slate tiles, and two there as well. Okay, we'll do the dark oak trap doors because there's a fair few of these. Um, one's gonna go here, flip it down. Um, another one's going to go on this side, flip that one down. Then we want to do the same thing again where we just do a temporary and then flip it like that. And then one here, flip it. And then again we want to do the same thing, um, but just here. So if we do a temporary, put one there and then flip it. So it should look like that. Again, one. Temporary one there, flip both of those, and then I guess this is a little easier actually. One, two, flip those down, and then just one. 
here as well. Okay. Um, right, take the gray stained glass pane. There's going to be three of those here, three of those on this side, three again, and three there. Now let's go back to the main body because the engines are pretty much done for this layer. Um, so there we go. Right, grab the stone bricks to the left and to the right of the stone block. Stone block here to cover up those two gaps. Stone brick block covering this iron trap door here. And then we're going to need the... Uh, let's see. Yeah, you need the deep slate tiles and the bricks again. You also need the grey wall. Um, and the cyan, we're going to do grey wall here next to the stone bricks going backwards. One, two, three. Again, one, two, three. Skip one between these stone blocks, do one there and there. Skip one again, do two and two again like that. Put that away for now, switch it out with the cyan. Cyan's going to go one there, one there as well. Here and here, here and here as well to fill in all those gaps. All right. Get the deep slate bricks. There's going to be one here behind the gray wall. Tiles, two bricks. Bricks, tiles, two bricks. Uh, and then we need the orange frog light. One's just going to go there and there. Throw that away. Observer, two of those, two of those again with the arrows facing towards the back. And then two more deep slate tiles and two again. Okay. Throw the observer away. Um, keep these materials around. We'll need the dark oak trap door again. Um, so one is going to go just there next to the frog light and flip it. And again. We are going to add one um, on top of this trap door here, face it outwards, flip it like that. And then a second one on the outside, flip that down, flip that one down. Get the uh, deep slate tile wall on this second observer just there, there as well. And then we need the grain stained glass pane. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, get the Dark Oak fence gate. One, flip it. One, flip that one. Trap door again. One and two, just flip those down. Obviously, we get to like an indent here, and we're going to add some of the uh, polished deep slate walls. One, two, three, and four. And then one more trap door just here next to where this one is. Just like that. You can see the shape starting to take form, which is obviously what we like to see. Um, we need the deep slate tile stairs now next to these bricks. Upside down, upside down. And then right in the middle is going to be a polished andesite stair upside down as well. Just there like that. You can delete these temporary blocks down here. Um, and even these ones at the bottom. There we go. So, um, yeah, last thing, just grab a iron trap door once more. Um, which, there we go, grab that. Just there. Um, we need the dark oak trap doors again. I said last thing, but there's actually, actually quite a few more things. Three more of the trap doors here. Three here. Flip those down, flip them. There's another one on top of this trap door and you flip that one out. And then a um, deep slate tile stairs you want to put just there and on this side and also a polished blackstone button just to add even more materials. Um, one on the outside here, one there as well. So yeah, the engines are a, a strange shape. 
and you can see that on the if I quickly fly over here as well to the two swarm model, they they are a strange shape. Um, even on the reference model, they are as well, which uh, you know, nice design choice there with the original game model. But it's one of them things you just have to deal with, really. Right, so we now come to the front of the model, which is a little bit easier. Um, there's three polished andesite blocks, three stone brick blocks, a grey wool, and then a polished uh, deep slate stairs upside down. You need a wither skeleton skull, I'll put that away. Um, if you don't have this, you use. Uh, I don't know, I don't know what you could use. Maybe just leave it off. Um, but yep, yeah, so that goes there. Another dark oak fence gate just goes here and flip it. Now you don't do one on the other side because this is the little uh, antenna thing that sticks out the front, or it will be um, in a second. I'm gonna throw, throw this away for now. I think we might need it again later, but we'll just grab that when we need it. Need the chain two of those on the front of this left hand side but again not on the right um, throw the chain away for now uh, a birch trap door one there flip it one there flip it that's on both sides and then you just need the iron bars again one and one there um, put that back get the sorry if you had the cat there uh, so yeah, where was I? Grab the light grey stained glass pane. One, two, three, four, and then just three stone brick walls to finalise that slope off at the front there. So yeah. Um, this build is quite difficult, I'll be honest with you. Despite being one-to-one, -one, like the accuracy that I tried to get to the in-game shape was pretty crazy, and it has made it a very difficult build it doesn't help that i do like all the color mixing and everything but yeah i think it's definitely worth it uh, but you will just have to bear with me while we work our way through the build um doesn't look like much yet looks kind of like uh i don't even know because obviously it's not joined the engines up at the top yet it's just got that bottom connection which then makes it i don't know kind of like uh that's the body little swoop wings outwards like that so yeah, let's move on up to layer number four, um, which uh, is hopefully a little bit easier, but we'll see. Let's go on to that. Right, for this uh, next one up, taking the dark oak trapdoor to begin with, we're just going to go down to where the side engines are here, put one just there on top of the previous dark oak trapdoor, and another one here as well. Um, you can actually put that away for this layer, we don't need it again. Um, we want the deep slate tile stairs back which I'm going to put just here on top of the frog light. And again, we need stone, stone bricks, stone bricks again. Like that. Swap the stairs out for the deep slate tile slab. And there's one, two, three. One, two, three. Two more slabs on the front of those full blocks. And then a daylight detector just there and flip it well not flip it turn it on and then again and you can just flip that uh, trap door back into place okay taking the lever one just goes there next to that trap door and another one just here as well again one two we need that birch trap door back again there's going to be one just there, one there, flip them both down. And then on that middle block, taking the stone stairs, upside down there, upside down there. We're pretty much done with the with the engine segments now on the left and right. Um, obviously we just build upwards a little bit to join this up with the body, but for these like main bulky parts, these, these are done. Um, so that's nice, I guess. Get that out of the way. Uh, we need the iron trap door. We're going to put one just here next to the uh, upside down stairs. And then one on the left and right as well. Just like that. 
Take the stone brick wall on that middle iron trap door. You're going to put that next to it. There as well. Get the iron bars. I'm going to put one there on the right hand side towards the front. Should join up there as well. Then two of the deep slate tile walls. One, two. One, two. Get the deep slate tile full block that goes here above the wall from the previous layer. And then we're just going to put uh, some of these away now just to uh, kind of save space, I guess. Put the slabs back. There we go. We'll move all this across. It's a little bit better, I suppose. Um, I think we can get rid of the grey stained glass pane now because I don't think we need it again. So there we go. That saves a little bit of room there. Um, we need the polished and the site next to the iron bars then to the right back towards the front of the build that's the stone bricks there's uh, polished and site slabs top half one and two one and two next to the uh, stone bricks there as well and just go diagonally in delete that one and then yeah just like that we can put that away for this layer Um, get the stone bricks once more, just here next to the stone brick wall. And then this is a deep slate bricks on either side, deep slate tiles, and then deep slate bricks again. We need the observer once more. Um, just put that there for now. Observer 1 and 2. Throw that away. I don't think we need it again. I'm not 100% sure, but I, I don't think we do. Um... But yeah, anyway, we need one material here, which I think we only need once, which uh, is a spruce stairs. Now, if you, I don't know why I'm explaining this, but uh, on the back here, there is like a, a tiny little assembly on the actual model, which um, didn't come out perfect on either the 2 to 1 or 1 to 1 models, but it just kind of represents that like tiny little, I don't know what it is, like an air vent or something, right on the back of the Sabre here. And that just goes there upside down next to the... Um, observer on both sides like that you can throw that away um, we need the deep slate tile stairs one is just going to go next to the observer there facing inwards and again deep slate tile full block next to it you need the deep slate tile slab just there above the uh, dark oak trap door and then finally for that back bit, grab the grey carpet. And it's going to be one and two. That caps off kind of the engine assembly there, which is nice. Um, we'll put the grey carpet up here with the light grey one. Okay, um, so we're making decent progress. We need the deep slate bricks next to the observer. Um... We do have a few new materials to introduce, but I'm going to save them to last because I know it's already getting a little bit uh, confusing with all the stuff going on. Skeleton skull, just going to go here next to the stone brick uh, full block. And again, I can't remember why that's there. I don't remember what it does. Um, it must be something. Um, and again, you can put that away, put it with the, the other skull, I suppose. Um, I don't know if we need the with the skeleton one again, so you could get rid of that. Uh, iron trap door just here next to the singular slab that we did and then we'll put that away right cyan terracotta I'm going to get these done and out of the way for this layer um, so there's two there two here, two there two here a single one goes in the middle there like that two polished andesite two polished andesite swap the cyan for the grey wool the grey wool just goes there and there. And we need a grey banner. I think we only need it once. And that's just going to go here and here as well. Throw that away. There's like, in the top side of the hull, which we're kind of seeing the glimpses of now, which is here, there's like tiny little holes, um, which I don't know what they do. But if you look on the 3D model, you can see them, and they just lead like really deep down into the body of the Sabre for some reason. No idea what they do, but it's just interesting. 
to see that they're there. Um, you need the polished andesite again. We're going to skip one here and do one there. And again, three stone bricks along this row. Stone block in the middle here. Stone bricks there. And then we need the polished andesite stairs upside down. One. And two. Now in those gaps, we are going to take the blast furnace. And there's going to be one... Um, just there, the second one here. Just have the smooth side facing the blocks. And the third one, you're gonna have the little grill side facing the back of the build. And then on either side of it, there's gonna be a skeleton skull. So it should look like this so far. Okay. Um, so we're done with all this back section now. So it's just the front to do. Grey wool again, one, two, put that away. Stone block between, stone bricks, stone block, and then the deep slate bricks. Two stone brick walls on that side, two on this side. Two of the polished deep slate walls, two again. Um, we need the black concrete. And that's one, two. Deep slate tiles here. Uh, put the black concrete there. We need the polished deep slate stairs. Just an upside down one here like that. And then I think it's just grey banner. I'm going to quickly check. Um, oh no, these, so these are the... Uh, I'll show you which ones. So yeah, I nearly made that mistake. They are the... Black banners with grey fess, light grey per fess inverted, and grey fess. Um, I apologise, I did say there was only two of these on the build, there are actually four. There's two of them there, two of them there as well. And you can uh, throw that away for now. One last thing for this layer, we want to grab the dark oak fence gate. One there, flip it. One there, flip it. And then with the chain, that's one. And two singular ones just like that. Put that away again. Uh, so the inventory is now basically full. I think we can get rid of the polished black stone buttons. I don't believe we need them again. But probably will. <laughs> Naming me. Anyway. Oh, one last thing. Smooth stone slab. You're just going to take this and do a top half one. Um, just here. So just down that center line. Uh, and another one there. Just remember in its top half. So just like that. Um, and yeah, that is going to do... Oh no, it's not. One last thing. Deep Slate Bricks just in this gap here. Um, yeah, that's that's it. Alright, let's move on up to the next one. We're actually getting fairly close to the end now. So yeah, off we go. Alright, for layer number 5, we're going to start off at the very front here with the Daylight Detector. Um, just one there above the uh, deep slate tiles. Turn that on. Then we need the polished deep slate slab just there. Uh, get the deep slate tile full blocks one and two. Stone bricks block one, two, three. Polished andesite block one, two. Bricks two polished. Bricks again. Um, I think that's that's all of them for this bit. Um, we're going to do the banners, get these out of the way, um, put the daylight detector away for now, put these slabs uh, there I guess. So we need the, we're done with that one, we'll do the black banner with the grey chief and grey base first. Um, so there's one of those there, one of those there, and again you can throw that away. And then we need the black banner with the alternating patterns, so the grey chief, grey base, grey per, and inverted and the one with grey per bend sinister inverted so the first one i said <laughs> is on this side the other one you can tell which is which because it, it kind of joins up with the with the pattern there but yeah it's like that and then uh throw those away we don't need those anymore that's all the banners done um in terms of the the custom ones at least um we want the light gray stained glass pane one there one here We'll need uh, some andesite walls as well. So this is a, a new one. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
And then the iron bars again. One and two. Birch trap door. Um, just goes here and flip it down. Uh, flip it down. Oh, and in terms of materials, um, I will need that again, actually. I got rid of the dark oak sign, but we did actually need the polished blackstone button again. Um, so I'd recommend keeping that. Um, where to go from here, really? Uh, light grey carpet, I guess. We'll do one there on top of the trap door on each side. Um, a lever. There and there. Uh, let's just rearrange this a little bit. I'm going to throw the dark oak fence gate away. Um, and then just keep these together. That one there. The walls are fine. Get rid of the chis uh, chiseled stone breaks. I still can't see it. Don't need those anymore. There we go. Um, right, what was I actually getting? So the polished deep slate slab. One on each side. The polished andesite slab. Uh, one on each side there. Need the polished andesite stairs. Let me just quickly switch some of these around. Um, so polished stairs. You're going to do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Polished full block. Polished full block. Two stain bricks. Stone block on each side. Smooth stone slab here. And then finally a daylight detector. Just there, flip it. Well, turn it on there as well. Turn that one on. Uh, daylight detector again, we'll get these out of the way. There's another one just here next to the polished on the side slab. Again, flip that on. And there's another one on this side next to the stair here, there. And there, just turn both of those on. Okay. Right. Next up, um, polish deep slate slab one, two, three. One, two, three. Smooth stone slab there and there as well. We will need the gray carpet and the light gray carpet. There's going to be gray ones just here and on top of the I think it's on top of this just there like that and then light gray carpet there um let me just check is that right yeah i guess so so then the light gray banner as well we need that and um, just to to cover that up light gray banner there there as well and then we'll just do the carpet pattern um again so one one the light grey one there. Right, take the polished and the side stairs. There's going to be one facing outwards, two and three, and then a corner one. One, two, three, corner one. Top half smooth stone slab next to these stairs here. And then a polished deep slate slab top half next to that. Okay. Birch sign, you'll just need that temporarily. Um, I think there's only two of them on this build. One's there, and the other one is just there as well. Throw that away. Um, light gray carpets once more. One, two. Two smooth stone slabs here. Two there as well. Need the iron trap door. One, two. Dark oak trap door in the middle. Um, a polished blackstone pressure plate. This back bit does have a lot of detail, and that's why there's a lot kind of happening into the materials. There's the polished blackstone pressure plate there, followed by the polished blackstone button. Um, just one lengthways like that, followed by a stone pressure plate as well, which is just there on top of the blast furnace. And then the light grey banners again. Uh, two there, two there as well. Okay, uh, I think you can... Oh no, you need these again actually, never mind. So that's fine, that's the inside bit done here. We just need one more thing, which is a... Um, 
think I used the normal furnace here for the back detail on the top side. It's just a furnace there facing towards the back, so the kind of detailed side is facing towards the back of the ship. Um, right, so the main body is all done from what I can see. It's just these kind of wing tips here now. Uh, iron trap door on top of the ones we did before. We need a crimson trap door in the middle. I'm going to. I'm not really taking care of the materials <laughs> lists anymore. It's all going messy again. Um, but yeah, crimson trap door facing towards the edges, iron trap door on each side. There's a mangrove pressure plate. I'm going just crazy with, with materials now. There's so much going on. Um, so one of those on each side. Throw that away as well. We need the carpets back. Um, so a grey one goes above this flip trap door here. A light grey one goes above this stair. Uh, light grey ones again. One, two and three. one two three one there and then the gray one goes here two iron trap doors just there like that two again and then we need the lever and the chain lever uh, chain connected to it and again lever chain connected to it all right <sighs> this build is hard. <laughs> um, okay, let's. I think. Oh, there's one more thing. Iron trap door just there, and there as well. Anyway, um, I think that's everything. I said this one was going to be easy, but it really wasn't. Um, so yeah, let's move on up to the last section. Finally, All right. Okay, so for the final section, coming to the. I'm going to do this bit first to get out of the way. Where the stone slab is here, put a birch trap door and flip it. And then where this full stair is, so ignoring that one, there and flip it, same again, same again. Um, we're also going to take the, because we're finishing off every section now basically, light grey carpet, um, there's going to be uh, one and two here, one and two here, and then get the lever, one there facing outwards, one there facing outwards. We will need the Polished deep slate wall um, just there. Oops. And then a stone brick one next to it. And then a polished deep slate one again. And a stone brick one again. And then this is just a iron bar. So again, same thing. One there, stone brick wall. One there, st stone brick wall. And then an iron bar. Get the light gray banners. Two of these here. Two of these here, throw that away. And then polished andesite slab, starting from this stone brick wall here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Like that. Okay. Get the stone pressure plate, that's going to go on top of the um, furnace. Again, throw that away. You need two light grey carpets next to that, so ends where this daylight detector is. Iron trap door, one and two. Daylight detector, one there, skip one, one here, in the middle of those, polished andesite slab. There's a dark oak trap door, just there. A lever, just there, facing backwards. And then two polished black stone buttons to finish the build off, one and two. And wow, that is, that is it. You can clear the inventory. Um, Pick up all the materials you throw all over the crown. Let's put the shaders on and quick, quickly do a post build showcase. Um, again, I apologize, that build was a lot more complicated than it looked. Um, but you know, you, you're getting a, a really nice display model. Um, and yeah, just looks really cool. I can't wait to do the two to one scale model because that's going to take a few hours. But yeah, you've got all, all four engines. Um, and just yeah packed full of detail um in every every inch of it um i don't know if i'll ever do a version where it's kind of facing upwards and it has the kind of uh 
fuel tanks and stuff attached to it, like in the beginning of Reach. Um, I don't know. I, I doubt it, if I'm honest, but we'll see. But yeah, anyway, that is basically going to do it. Um, again, a Sabre has never been made on the channel, so it's nice to finally do one and, you know, just cross it off the list, really. Um, let me know what you want to see next, and uh, it will be a Star Wars one next time, I think, but we'll see what actually happens. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day, and goodbye. Hey guys, before the video ends, I just wanted to let you know about my new schematic store. This is a place where you can download builds from the past, from tutorials that are out now, and even preview builds from the future. Link is in the description. Go and have a look, see if there's anything you like. And yeah, see ya.